James Holder for I from London. I'm uh, pitch side at Millwall Football Club today. With me, I've got ex Millwall Wimbledon star Ben Thatcher. All right, Ben? Very well, sir. Very well. Uh, Dockers Day, here we are again. Feel good to be back? Yeah, it's lovely to come back to the old den. Uh, made me debut here as a player. Three happy years here. And uh, it's nice to see the boys. I was just going to say that 92 seems to some people quite a long time away now. Does it feel, feel that long ago? Yeah, it does feel a long time ago. 38 now, so it's. Uh, you know, just just a nice day with the with boys. I haven't seen some for maybe five or six years, and obviously it's just a special day coming back here. And obviously Ipswich being my old club as well, so it's just a good day all round. Yes. Uh, Dockers Day, seven every year they do something, bring the Dockers down. Seven years running this year, the '92 Youth Cup side. As I said, iconic moment for Millwall, that really isn't it? Yeah, I've just been discussing it there actually. Just the old memories, we've seen a lot of photos on the wall, and obviously going to Old Trafford, and you know, you're 16, 17 year old kid, and. You dream of playing Old Trafford, Enfield, places like that, and getting a chance to play up there, and obviously beating them. Unfortunately, we lost at home, but uh, yeah, it's just good, just good to share the memories with lads that you live with, you know what I mean, for two years, and it's just, it's just good fun, good day out. You, I'll take it, you was playing left back in that game. I was centre half back in them. Centre half, yeah, centre half back in them days. Yeah. Who, who was your job to mark that day? Can you remember? Uh, to be fair, the side was good. They had uh, both, I think both Neville play, uh, both Neville brothers played. I think Nicky Butt was in the team, David Beckham. Uh, and then they had probably the best two players, Ben Thornley and uh, Keith Gillespie. So they weren't struggling for a team then. Just reeling off the names there, who's who really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they were magnificent. Obviously, went on to have magnificent careers. And uh, we, I mean, we had a great youth team coaching Tom Wally. And uh, we had a bit of a conveyor belt here at Millwall for maybe two or three years, producing a lot of players. What was this thing about before the game? You lot all shaved your heads. Was was this your idea? Did you no, did you get the lads on this? No, I'm getting a bit of blame for that. I think it was uh, mainly Mark Beard and uh, Paul Irving uh, had the idea to get the clippers out, but everyone got it. The kit man, the coach driver, everyone. So, How funny is that? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Just a silly thing you do when you're a kid, but it was a good laugh. Yeah, Mark Beard's uh, got us down today, do a bit of stuff, and just generally get amongst it. You good friends with Mark Beard? What's he like as a fella? I don't really like him to be fair. But, uh, <laughs> I've known him since I was probably 12, 13 years of age. Lovely, lovely man. Uh, quite close to his family. And his boy, he's, a, he's, a, he's one to look out for. I think he's maybe 15 now, playing for Brighton. He's, he's going to be a good player himself. But Beard, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a nice fella. Ipswich visit Millwall today, your old club, as you said. How, how do you see this one playing out? You're going to sit on the fence or are you going to give me a prediction? No, uh, well, apparently there's a line they just stuck up there in the top corner. And since they put that up there, they ain't won an home game, someone's just told me. So oh, as a manager, I'd have ripped that down. But... Uh, I think Ipswich needs a points a little bit more than Millwall in a minute. They're both, they could both do with a three points just to ease the relegation fears. So uh, I'll sit on the fence with a nice one-all draw, I think. All right, well, listen, you heard it here first. Listen, Ben, I want to thank you for talking to iFilm London. Um, I know uh, Wales as well is your country. Yep. So how do you see uh, things panning out for them in the future as well? Hopefully very well. Good friend of mine, Chris Coleman, uh, used to live in the same village as me. And hopefully they, you know, Carry on the good work that Gary Speed set down there because it's uh, got some good players playing some nice football. So hopefully onwards and upwards. Brilliant. Well, Ben, I want to thank you for talking to iFilm London. I look forward to seeing you out again soon. This is James Holder, Ben Thatcher for iFilm London. Thank you very much.